Hi, I'm Sharma Kern with Thai Healing Massage Academy. Welcome to Thai Massage Tips and Tricks. Let's talk about what mat you should use for your Thai Massage practice. And there are different options depending on how much money you want to invest, depending on how much space you have in your workroom, depending on if you want it to be more portable or more stationary. So let's look at a few different options and I will show you what I use here in Thailand and then I think at the end you will have a pretty good idea of what you're looking for in whatever country you are working. So now I will show you one mat that is available here in Thailand and this is about, if we measure it, it's about one inch or two and a half centimeters thick and this way it's uh, 78 inches or two meters long and it is 80 centimeters or 31 and a half inches wide. So that's the dimension of the mat which is fairly similar to a massage table. Now this is actually not a very good mat for Thai massage. Why? Because it's not wide enough. But I want to show you some things. The thickness is pretty good. A Thai massage mat should not be very soft because if you kneel then you will sink into the mat and if there is a hard floor underneath like here I have a tile floor then you will hurt your knee. So the mat has to be fairly firm. So it should not be very thick because you don't want to have a big difference between what's next to the mat, the floor, and the mat. So there shouldn't be a big step up. So you want to have the mat just a little bit higher than the floor. So it should be fairly thin but firm. So that's the first consideration. The second thing is that if you have the mat narrow like this, kind of like a massage table, and this will tell you why I don't like to do Thai massage on a table, the problem is that there are many positions in Thai massage where you need space on both sides, and I will show you that. So here is my dear wife and partner, Jang, and I will show you why a narrow mat is a problem in Thai massage. For example, well, let me first show you a kneeling position. So this is one where one knee is up, one knee is down. Now the knee that is down needs some good support. So if the mat is soft and you sink through, you will hurt your knee. And that's obviously not a good idea. But there are also many techniques where you really need to get off the mat. For example, this position. Now I'm off the mat. Now that's just with my foot. That's not a big problem. But if you have to move out and you do some work like this, for example, now my knee is on the hard floor. Not a good idea. So the workaround you can do if you only have a narrow mat is that you use two pillows or two cushions, one on either side. And I have one on this side also. So you can use those to move around someone. Also for some techniques you actually have to be behind the head of your client. So, or when you work on the feet, then you have to move your whole body back and then you have to take that cushion and move it behind you. So if you have two of those and a narrow mat, let's say either because you don't have the budget for two mats or your workspace is rather small, that's one solution. Now these cushions should be the same height as the mat to make this comfortable. So that's one setup narrow mat, two cushions as a workaround. So here's another consideration. Let's say you want to work on the arm and the hand and that is done 
when you put the arm out kind of sideways from the body and now you have to move your knee off the mat in order to reach it which is not good especially in this case with a tile floor that would be very uncomfortable so one thing you can do is just use the second cushion that you have and put it there and now you have a nice working situation and now you can work on the arm and on the hand easily so if you have a carpet you see here in Thailand nobody has carpet it's all either hard wooden floors or hard tile floors but if you have carpeting then this is not such a big thing if your knee is on a soft carpet on a tile floor it is a big thing so anyway that's one situation you can move both cushions to one side to have a comfortable work setup now the better thing is if you can buy a big rubber mat and put that under your mat so even if you have a fairly narrow mat then whenever you have to get off the mat with your feet or your knees you're not on the hard tile floor but you end up on that rubber mat so that's one workaround you can do it's still not as good as what I will show you next so now we have the ideal setup what I did is I added a second mat which is wider than the narrow mat you can see that the old mat the narrow one is brown and the wide one is a blue mat and now I have the width extended to 72 inches which is about 184 centimeters so now I can do everything right on the mat I don't have to worry about having extra cushions or when to get off the mat or where to put the cushions I can just stay on the mat I can do everything and this has many advantages not just that it's convenient for me but you can do certain things like you can roll the client from one position into the other position let's say if the client is in this position you can easily roll the client into the side position or even from supine to prone position and for that you need a lot of space I will show you that in another tips or tricks video how to do that but my point is now there are no limitations now you don't have to have your client lying lengthwise on the mat uh, Jane could you lie diagonal please so you can work like this because in Thai massage there are many things that you do that require moving one arm out or moving one leg out like this so you really need some space on both sides or you do something like this so see I really need space on the side and if I put the client diagonally on the mat I have that space so this is the most convenient situation so of course here in Thailand the mats are not that expensive in the Western world they cost more so if you do what I showed you before with the cushions or the smaller mat and and the plain rubber mat underneath that would be the cheaper way but the nicest setup is what I have now and of course you cover that with a nice sheet a blanket or something to make it look nice but this is the perfect setup ideally you want to have something that's uh, about the same width as length and then you have no more restrictions you don't have to worry about getting off the mat so let's just summarize this you want to have a mat or two mats that are as wide as possible in, in other words this one is 72 inches wide and that's enough that's fine and at least that long and well a little bit longer like 80 inches long and somewhere between 70 and 80 inches wide which is about 2 meters long and 185 wide that's the ideal work setup then you want to have a mat which is not very thick and you don't want a mat that's very soft there are many positions in Thai massage where you need stability for your own position and if the mat is too soft not only can you sink through easily but also 
you know, like your knee then will be lower as you are on the right side of your body. So you have a harder time keeping the balance or in standing positions if you stand up and the mat is very soft your foot will be wobbly on a soft mat so you want to have a fairly firm mat not very thick well actually if it's big enough it doesn't matter if it's thicker because you don't have to ever get off it it just if you don't have a very wide mat and you have to get off it and use cushions then you definitely don't want to have a very thick mat because then you have that step to the floor or the carpet or wherever, whatever is next to it and that's just not so convenient. So now we have a nice wide mat which is pretty firm and in this case not very thick. That's your ideal work setup. So now the other consideration is do you want it to be portable or not? Actually in the early days of my Thai massage career I used to do a lot of house calls and what I did, I went to a sporting goods store and I bought two good quality exercise mats. And you could just roll them up and roll like this, about that long and that thick. So you could easily throw them in the back seat of the car, in the trunk, no problem. They didn't weigh hardly anything. And I bought two of those and I velcroed them together. So whenever I set them up, I could just easily connect them with Velcro strips and I had a very thin, very light setup that I could easily bring to clients' houses and that I could easily fit into my car. Actually in those days I used a motorcycle a lot so I could do house calls with a motorcycle. Very convenient. So, and I used that for working in my home also. So if you have two good quality exercise mats from a sporting goods store, that will work. Or if you want to have a nice big stationary mat and you don't do any house calls, that's one thing. Or you can have the two setups. If you might consider doing house calls, you can get yourself the two exercise mats for the house calls and you have one nice or two big nice mats for at home. So these are the different options that you can do for working comfortably in time massage. So now the question is where do you get all that from? Now the exercise mats you can get from a sporting goods store. The mats, many times people ask me, oh can I order something from Thailand? Yes you can. These exact mats here, actually a friend of mine ships them all over the world, but by the time you buy the mat and you pay for the shipping, you're not really going to save much money and the shipping if you send it by boat which is the only way that makes it reasonably affordable to pay for the shipping takes three months and if you send it by air I mean you're going to pay a lot more than what you would, what you would pay in the West so it is not very cost effective to order mats from Thailand. You might want to check on Massage Warehouse or Amazon, just Google it and see what you find there and you will probably be more cost effective than ordering those mats. And these are quite heavy actually, so the shipping weight would be not so cheap. So anyway, now you have your various choices and it's important to have a comfortable setup for Thai massage makes a big difference and now you can also see why working on the mat is just better than working on a table. On a table if you want to work on the arms well you cannot just put them out to the side because there's nothing there or if you want to put a leg way out there it is not so convenient because there's no more support so you have to do all kinds of adjustments to make make it possible to work on a table and some positions don't work on a table whereas on the floor you can do everything. So I definitely prefer working on the floor on a nice big wide setup and then you feel great when you work on the client and the client also feels supported in every position. So thanks for watching, hope you find the perfect setup for you, bye bye.